Hi guys, welcome back to We Food Hard. And on today's menu, we have one of Sean's childhood favorites. That's right. We uh, are going to be making hot ham and cheese sandwiches. And uh, I can remember as a kid going to my family reunion, and these were the number one item. I would actually try to take like four or five of them, and uh, I'd always get in trouble, but they were always my favorite. So uh, we're going to give it a shot and try it out. All right, so to start, what you'll need is um, some type of a bun. So when you grew up, is like hamburger buns, yeah, right? hamburger buns. So we're gonna try brioche buns because I don't like like really soft bread and we're hoping that if we use the brioche bun once we toast in the oven, it's gonna get really nice and crispy and more delicious. So to start out with, we have all of our buns lined up on pans and we're preheating our oven to 350 degrees. And we each have four ounces of softened, softened butter and we're gonna do two different kinds of seasoned butter. So. I have my four ounces of softened butter. And then in this dish here, I have some seasonings. I have a fourth a teaspoon of onion powder and a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm just going to um, start mashing down my butter and use half of the seasoning in the butter, mix it some more, see how it tastes, if it's too seasoned, not seasoned enough, and then um, I'll pour in the rest of my seasoning from there. And like Shannon said, this butter, we just left it sitting out on the counter to get to room temperature so that it's easy to kind of mash down. The only difference between my seasoning um, and hers, mine has caraway seeds in it, uh, which just add a little bit extra flavor to the to the sandwich. So again, just like what Shannon said, she, she uh, put in half of her seasoning. I'm going to do the same just to kind of like taste it to see where it's at. I don't want it to be too overpowering, but at the same time, I want it to have a good enough flavor. So the seasoning I'm adding again, uh, half a teaspoon, or I'm sorry, a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I actually have a half a teaspoon of caraway seeds in there. And that should just balance that sandwich out a little bit. So while Sean's finishing mixing up his butter, I am going to start buttering, buttering my buns. Just put a little bit of butter on each bun. More amount of butter on each bun. <laughs> More like a hard healthy diet. I think this would also be really good instead of doing ham if you did like some like Italian meats, like spice meats or something. You can really do whatever you want on there, which is good. But we're making hot ham and cheese. <laughs> That'd be good to take to work too instead of having like a boring just ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, kids' school lunches. Even if they're not in school, you can make these then for their in house classrooms. Right. <laughs> you can make them ahead of time at least, and then just heat it up in the toaster or something. If you're being forced to homeschool your kids this year, you can make, or this uh, school year, you can uh, make these on a Sunday. We got lunch for a week. This is something that you could easily take to um, like a picnic. If you're meeting up with your friends, your family, uh, somewhere outdoors, it's easy to just throw a couple of these together, put them in the oven. Um, if you're So Shannon said it was 350 degrees. We're actually cooking at 325. Um, if we do it for about 20, 25 minutes, It'll help. We wrap them in foil when they're going before they go in the oven, so it helps retain the heat. So we have 18 total sandwiches. 16. 16? Yes, ma'am. 
and that will add on two lunches. That's like one dinner for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe one and a half. We have a platter full of cheese sitting in front of us, and I love cheese. I really want to eat some, but I'm going to wait. And if you guys like cheese and be interested in seeing a video of how to do like a charcuterie board, I do those all the time. So let us know in the comments below. She does. That's dinner. Sometimes I'll just eat a charcuterie board for dinner. <laughs> Set out on the patio in the summer. Yeah. Really nice. Okay, so I made a giant mess trying to get this stuff done. So Yeah, my area is nice and clean. All right, so now we're going to build our hot ham and cheese sandwiches. And uh, we have two different types here. Let's slide these over so we can see how we're doing this here. This is the delicious platter of cheese that I'm trying not to eat. <laughs> so we have two different types of cheeses. Two different types of ham. So we have an applewood smoked ham, and then we have just a standard crocus ham. I don't know what the difference is between a crocus ham. It's like rectangular shape, so I don't know if it's the shape, the way they do it. Um, but we just got a couple different types of ham from the store. I also have two different types of cheese. We have a, a Havarte, which is a little milder, mm -hmm. and then we actually have um this is dubliner from Kerrygold, i believe it's their it's like a sweeter like nuttier type of cheese i think it's going to we're, we're making half and half so i think yes. it's going to be one's going to be mild and one's going to be kind of a sweet um sweeter sandwich i guess so um we're going to get started by uh taking the oops, taking the buns that we put butter on we're going to build cheese ham cheese we're going to cover them up and then after all we're going to, after all of them are done we're going to put wrap them in tin foil throw them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and it's as easy as that and i think as a kid um, the sandwiches were on hamburger buns, same kind of a butter spread with the onion powder, the garlic powder, and caraway seed. Um, it was brick cheese, and I do believe that it was crocus ham, or um, it might have been crocus ham or tavern ham that they were using um, when they were making it. So we changed the recipe just a hair. Final sandwich. I don't know how boring it is watching us put uh, cheese on bread. This is a very technical skill that you need to have while cooking. <laughs> Taking pre-made <laughs> bread and putting butter on it. <clears throat> okay. All right, so now that our sandwiches are built, we're going to wrap them in foil and throw them in the oven. Oh, well, thank you. Wait, there's a little man under our table that hands us stuff. Oh, here. So I actually made you eight? Thank you. I have eight. Is there a, is there a folding technique? Uh, I'm just wrapping them at the top. So. At least this is simple enough that if you had little kids and you, you were going to like a family picnic, you and like your couple little kids could all get in like a little assembly line and build the sandwiches and stuff and do it together. It's a, fun. a fun family building activity here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, mine are all done. It's the last hand lid. Okay, so we're gonna throw these sandwiches in the oven and we're, they're gonna cook for about 20, 25 minutes. We'll check on them at 325 degrees. I won't mind fit. And we will let you guys know what they look like when we get them out. All right, guys, these sandwiches came out of, just came out of the oven and they smell fantastic. Before we unwrap them for you, uh, and for ourselves actually, mm -hmm. um, I didn't say how much of each ham that we were using. So we had a pound of the Applewood ham and we had a pound of the Crocus ham. So it worked out to be about two pieces per sandwich. And then we had, a, you know, basically two pieces of cheese per sandwich as well. So um, we're gonna open them up. What one are you picking? I don't know. I hope I get the one that I want. Take this one. The apple with ham one. <clears throat> oh, they feel nice and crispy so yeah. far. Yeah, they're pretty crispy. Smell good. Yeah. So the, the brioche buns, actually, they feel a lot crispier than a hamburger bun would feel. Uh, the cheese is melted nice. We did cook them uh, 325 for 25 minutes. Uh, they look pretty good. coming out for me. So hot, but I still want to try it. I'm going to take a bite. <laughs> Is yours the caraway one? Mm -hmm. We can't tell. Okay, mine's the butter that I made with the onion powder and the that is so garlic good. powder. It's so hot. Melty. All right, so these are some awesome hot ham and cheese sandwiches. Again, if you're going on a picnic with your family, your friends, have a summer get together, whatever, uh, with COVID, we have to be outside. So this is a, a quick meal that you can just make real fast, bring a bunch of them. It's awesome. Meeting so. all the, and you get extra cheese that's on the foil that you get to eat too. Yeah. And most importantly, it's not like a soft, squishy sandwich, which I really like because it's crispy. So, okay. Well, thanks for uh, watching today. Make sure you guys uh, are subscribed to the channel. If you're not, make sure you leave us some comments below. Uh, our comment section is a little barren. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching again. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget, work hard. Food harder.